And welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. Graduates, please be seated. And staff, you can be seated as well. Thank you. <laughs> well, we are, we are so excited for tonight uh, to bring some joy and to bring so people back together to celebrate um, the class of 2021. Um, before we begin, we want to do a couple of acknowledgments um, and some introductions for you this evening. So seated on stage behind me um, is primarily the Fair School staff, amazing staff, and we want to give them a big round of applause for all of the work that they have done. And also seated on stage are some of our uh, school board members and our superintendent. So Superintendent Ed Graff. <laughs> and board members Adriana Cirillo and Nelson Inns will be representing the board this evening. And in addition, we, need, we will be doing a land acknowledgement this evening. Um, and the buildings that make up Minneapolis Public Schools community are built within the traditional homelands of the Dakota people. Minnesota comes from the Dakota name for this region, Minnesota Makoche, translating to the land where the waters reflect the skies or cloudy waters. Minneapolis Public Schools recognizes the original peoples of this place and are committed to making ongoing efforts to educate the community about the relationship that Dakota people have to this area, both historically and today as they remain here in their home. Thank you, you can go to the next slide. Thank you. At the Fair School, we really use this motto called success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it by Maya Angelou. We believe strongly that students are able to develop their identity and how they have grown both artistically and individually in finding their own path through high school. They define the standards for themselves rather than society, and sometimes beyond what we as adults or even parents think, but perhaps students are finding their own way and defining how success and what success means to them. One of these examples is actually Griffin's piano. Griffin uh, is, is one of our graduating seniors this, tonight. The Downtown Council has developed a, a, a system in a um, exciting thing for this summer where they're going to be placing pianos on parade, pianos all over the city so that people can sit down and, and play whenever they want and bringing music and joy into the community. Fair was fortunate to be selected to have three of these pianos and one of them uh, was decorated by Griffin, one of our senior artists. He typically, according to Ms. Conwell, who's his art teacher on stage, is a spray paint artist and amazing at the work that he does but instead he created a different canvas, one that was done in acrylic paint, right? Furthering his identity as an artist and also defining how he wanted that piano to look in his own success. Um, that piano will be displayed in the downtown community this coming summer. Other ways that students define success at fairs through advanced academics and post-secondary enrollment options. There are 87 college classes that have been completed by our PSEO students, and 248 credits have been earned by the class of 2021 with a savings parents to you of over $300,000 um, in college credits that the class of 2021 was able to do. In addition to that, many of the graduates sitting in front of you were furthering their identity in the workplace and also thinking about that college and career pathway. One of the uh, programs that we have at FAIR is to provide internship opportunities for students who complete that school to work portfolio and that portfolio allows them paid internships. So nine of our students were able to access that this year and we have many more waiting in the wings in the fall of 2021. So success for the class of 2021 is how you define it, not how we define it, but how you define it by liking yourself, right? Liking what you do and liking how you do it. And so with that, 
We'll move through the rest of the program, including at this time. Go ahead, next slide, please. We will be listening to one of our amazing student voices. I'd like to invite Anna to please come up to the stage. Hi, I'm Anna, as you can see. Um, so ever since I went to my first graduation ceremony in 2018, I've been so entranced with getting this opportunity to perform and wait for the day I'd graduate today. So all four years, I've been asking myself what song I'm going to perform at graduation. Each year, I grew and changed. And as I changed, I went through different music phases. For um, freshman through junior year, I went through pop, indie, and R&B. For instance, one of my favorite songs is by Chloe and Halle, Forgive Me, because it helped me reflect on who I am and who I want to be as a person and as a musician. And then senior year came, bam. I am an adult, and I feel terrified. <laughs> and then I started, really I started to really dive into finding my song for graduation since December. But at the end of March, my cat passed away. So I relied on my music to help me because it's my piece and it's my outlet. And as I was listening to music, I found this song and it really, it really got me because it made me think about him and it also made me think about all the other family and people that wanted to see me graduate today in this moment of time. Like my dad, for example. I remember one day eating lunch, and it was like a hot summer, sunny day, and he came in when my mom was making like lunch, and his hands were all cut up, and they were bruised, and they were all dirty, because he only did roofing. And I remember saying, ew, dad, your hands are gross. And I s I'm sorry, that was me, I was eight. But <laughs> I remember him telling me, Nanas, you see these hands? Go to school and be successful so you don't have hands like mine, Miha. And this has been in my mind since then, and I've carried this with me since, since I was in elementary, really. And I thought about it more, and then I realized that I'm not only graduating for myself, I'm graduating for my mom, for my brothers, and for my sisters. And I'm going to be the first to go to college. And I need to show my siblings that they are just as smart and capable of going to school and getting a job they can achieve. And it shouldn't matter what gender, race, or sexuality they are. And if they believe and see me doing this, then they can go beyond me. So here I am, <laughs> performing at graduation. And I finally chose a genre and a song. This song reminds me of all those people I wish could be here with me today. And there are a lot of people who we all wish could be here celebrating with us, so enjoy. Talking to me too, or am I 
Somewhere out there, some far away, but I'm still here. Somewhere far away, I know you're somewhere out there, and some far away, but I'm still here. Somewhere far away. Thanks, and as Anna changes up, I'm going to invite Karen Duffy, our faculty speaker, to come to the podium, please. Here, Anna. Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to our students and their <laughs> families and friends and loved ones. To the class of 2021, I am truly humbled and honored to have the opportunity to speak to you on your graduation. In preparing for this speech, I was overwhelmed by both my feelings for all of you and by, um, by all of the things that I wanted to be able to convey, each of which could have been a speech of its own. So I just wanted to say that I'm not going to be able to say everything I would want to, and I'm not going to be able to capture the totality of our experience together. But I hope that what I say will be meaningful and will make some sense. Before um, I can say anything else, uh, we have to address the context in which this graduation ceremony takes place. We gather here tonight after living out a year in various degrees of quarantine as a result of a global pandemic. Many of us have experienced feelings of isolation and loneliness. Our lives and the lives of those we care about have been impacted in many ways. We have experienced personal and collective loss. At the very same time as we are weathering a pandemic, deep, fundamental, systemic inequalities and mechanisms of violence and oppression that have been present in our country since its inception continue to be exposed to us in visceral ways. We have experienced repeated tragedy, both in our immediate community and in our country at large. The killing of black citizens and people of color at the hands of police is not a new reality and calls for attention and acknowledgement and accountability and change are also not new. Over the past year, we have had reasons to be hopeful as more people than maybe ever before have heard these calls and have aligned themselves with movements for racial justice. Global consciousness has been raised, 
and some level of accountability has been attained in at least one case. But with this has also come frustration. Frustration at the fact that it has taken some people so long to become aware, that some people remain obstinately ignorant, and that some people continue to actively resist. There is frustration at the fact that the work stalls, at the fact that some people with privileged identities drift in and out or engage in superficial ways, at the fact that the mechanisms of justice and accountability and change move agonizingly slow, and at the fact that people continue to be harmed in the meantime. These are the realities that we have lived and that we continue to live, and they are incredibly difficult and sobering. To not speak on them, or to push them to the background, or to try to mitigate them for the purpose of preserving a certain mood, would be to diminish and ignore the lived experience of the very people we are here to celebrate, and also of every person in this room. This past year has been traumatic, and the trauma has been profound. Still, in the middle of all of this, we are gathering tonight for a celebration. And that may feel strange or awkward given the circumstances. But asserting that there is something worth celebrating here tonight does not diminish anything that has just been said. And everything that has just been said does not diminish that there is something here worth celebrating. The world can be many different things at the same time. And we can hold our experiences of the past year and hold our cause for celebration tonight as both true and both real and both valid without either negating the other. So I would like to invite you all to hold both of those things here in this space at the same time with me. Okay. The purpose of tonight is to be a celebration. So what are we celebrating? We are celebrating the education and achievement of a wonderful, resilient, talented, bright, and creative group of young people. And now I would like to talk about them. I met this group of young people on my very first day as a high school teacher. And honestly, the first day and the first month was a total blur because I was a ball of nerves the whole time and I felt totally awkward and like I didn't know what I was doing or if I could possibly be effective in this position. But then one day, maybe two or three weeks in, I saw Jesus after school, and he gave me a thumbs up and said, Miss Duffy, geometry was good today. And I probably cried out of relief. <laughs> I know that that's a small moment, and it's so small that I'm sure Jesus doesn't actually remember that. But it was incredibly meaningful to me at the time because it made me feel for the first time that year that maybe I could actually do it. And it made me feel like you guys were all with me and that I wasn't alone. Throughout that whole period and through the rest of the year and all of last year and all of this year, you all, you specific people, have been so kind and supportive and encouraging and patient with me. I feel that any success I may have had as your teacher is due in large part to you, specifically you and your support. And I thank you all for that. We have spent three years together now, and there have been lots of fun and goofy moments, like doing drawing contests in advisory, playing this weird find the bathtub game in pre-calc this year, and so, 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 so many drawings and weird doodles on my whiteboard. There have also been moments that were sweet and deep and moving, like the first time seeing many of you perform or seeing you be proud of something you created, or seeing you be excited about something you learned. I'm thinking of any time someone came up to the board to solve a problem in front of class, because I think that's so brave. I'm thinking of how supportive and excited you all were for each other at performances and art crawls. I'm thinking of how you were there for your friends when they were going through extremely difficult experiences. I'm thinking of seeing some of you step into activism last spring and this spring, and now in this very moment, and how you also brought this activism into FAIR itself and pushed us all to be better educators. And now we're coming to the end of this experience together, and it's time for you all to move on to whatever your next thing is. And I have to be honest that it hurts to let you go, because I love you, 
and I'm going to miss seeing you every day, and there's a non-trivial part of me that just wants you to stay. But also because I love you, I know that that's not right, and that it's time for you to go off and do your own things and be your own people. And we all know that the world desperately needs good people, people who are bright and engaged and have good hearts and are oriented towards justice and liberation. And I know that you all are those people. And so it's right for you to go. Okay, so this brings me to the next part of what I wanna talk about. High school graduations are one of the major public rites of passage in our culture, and they are used as a marker of transition from adolescence to adulthood. And as a result, a lot of pressure can be put on this moment. There can be a feeling of needing to have things figured out, or to know what you want to do, or to be an adult now, or whatever. And some of this pressure can be good. A human life is a rare and precious thing, and it is good to think deeply and carefully about how you want to spend yours. At the same time, it can also be good to take a little of the pressure off and remind yourself that the choice that you make right now isn't the end-all, be-all of your life, and no choice ever will be. While there may be a small number of people that know exactly what they want to do and go out and do it, and then the reality actually matches their expectations, that's not really the case for most people. For most people, the path we take emerges over time, and it may not even form a coherent or linear path, but it might just end up being more like a collage of experiences that are all meaningful in their own different ways. So I want to encourage you all to be patient with yourselves, to expect that some things might not work out the way you thought they would and that that's okay, and to expect that there may be changes of theme or direction along the way. Okay, so for lack of any kind of better segue, here's my final thoughts. Human existence is mysterious and confusing and transcends total understanding or certainty, but I do feel really sure about one thing, and it's that people matter and the way you treat other people matters. Um, as a fair, a fair favorite, Maya Angelou famously said, I've learned that people will forget what you said People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I feel the truth of this statement in the time that I've spent with you all at FAIR, and I feel the truth of this statement right now. At this point, we've shared probably hundreds of regular everyday moments together, and I'm never going to remember the exact content of those moments, the specific details of who said and did what. But I know that I will always remember that you all made me feel accepted and loved and appreciated every single day. And that being your teacher has been the most special experience of my entire life. And I hope you all feel how much we all love you back and that you will remember that feeling too. Every person in this room is proud of you and what you have achieved to make it to this moment. And every person in this room is rooting for you in whatever you decide you want to try next. So take that in and feel it and remember it and use it. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Duffy. Ms. Duffy is without question not only the favorite of the class of 2021, but many of our students at FAIR. Um, thank you so much for bringing those words and, and graduates uh, for, for you to be taking those in. But now it's time to listen to one of your own. Uh, and I'd like to invite Keegan to come up to this podium, please. hot in these things. Okay, I'd like to start by saying that I never would have done this three years ago and probably not even last year unless you told me to. When I first got to fair, I'd always walk through the skyways and the halls looking at my feet. 
I would hug the wall and just try to get to class as quick as possible. And being the, and being the youngest of three kids going to an art school, I was always concerned if I could really call myself an artist. I was always comparing my works to my siblings, but their, but their clay pots were always prettier and their skateboards always cleaner. It took me a long time to realize that what they were making were just years of, they were just whole life stages ahead of me, is what I'm trying to say. I didn't always walk so fast though. Sometimes I had to slow down for my friends we were always at the same point in our lives, same stage. And some of them definitely had prettier art than me, but the difference between us was tangible. And the areas of our expertise varied so much that I didn't need to be good at the things that they were, and they didn't need to be good at the things that I was, like graphic design. And since half of them, including the most important one, were more extroverted than me, I knew I had to start picking my head up. Jumping forward to last summer, and probably the most transforming time for me, I found a medium of art that really spoke to me. I've always been fascinated by spray paints and stencils and graffiti. And once I finally had some inspiration to do something with that fascination, I jumped at the chance and made a pretty neat uh, portrait. And now, 10 months and five projects later, I have a shelf in my room dedicated to paints and canvases, as well as a form of art that I can comfortably create in. I also had an internship that summer. It was my first real step into the world of design. I worked on a project for a company you might have heard of, Land Lakes. It was actually on the board up there. Uh, I was placed into a team of six and tasked with finding a way to widen their consumer base. It was a very important time for me. It also helped me, that internship helped me show, helped show me how much I've grown and how much I can do. It also helped te me, teach me some skills that I should have learned a long time ago. But overall, it helped show me that I already was what I was striving for. And as some of you might have guessed, I don't walk around looking at my feet anymore. I look at what's around me and what's ahead of me, looking for something to give me another spark of inspiration. The people I've met and the opportunities shown to me at FAIR are the reason I'm on this stage now. And so, as a part of my final goodbye to FAIR, I'd like to thank Maje, Gabe, Chance and Griffin for making me pick my head up and always seeing my art as something to be admired. I also want to make, thank Ms. Pagel and Mr. Nelson for seeing my potential throughout the years and getting me into that internship last summer. My most important thank you goes to Anna Carbajal <laughs> for letting me share her locker for the past two and a half years. and for letting me share my life for the past four. And now, I can finally proudly say, I am an artist. Thank you. And an artist Keegan is. I don't know if you noticed in the beginning of our program, there were a couple of his pieces of art that were in the beginning of the slideshow. So thank you, Keegan, for those words. Um, it's now time to invite uh, Mr. Kane and Ms. Pagel um, up. And Mr. Maxi and Mr. Green, if we can please move the award uh, table to the middle. And we will be uh, moving on to the recognition of academic honors. Check one, two, check one, two. Okay, so what we are going to now uh, be able to honor with our graduates from the class of 2021 is academic excellence over sustained period. A typical student uh, who graduates in four years has got 16 grades and report cards that go home, each averaging six classes every time. 
The students we're going to honor tonight, for 15 out of those 16 quarters, have been able to uh, maintain grade point averages of Bs or higher and truly deserve the recognition that they have for being a high outstanding academic achiever within their high school career. We're gonna be honoring both the honor students who have a GPA of 3.0 to 3.49, so effectively a, a B to almost an A minus GPA. Again, sustained over nearly 96 quarters of academic classwork. And our high honor students who are three, GPAs 3.5 to 4.0. This class truly has shown in so many different ways, and I'm looking at all of you right now, how strong you are as academic students and the gifts that you bring to the classroom, the work that you complete, the questions that you ask, and the ability for you to think beyond what is in a textbook or in the world to be able to truly figure out, as Keegan said, what is forward and in front of you. We are proud of these students and want to honor them now uh, to say, hey, congratulations for your high academic achievement. The second piece of this that we're also going to honor for three of these students as well is our recognition of their time at FAIR. What's incredible as a gift about the FAIR community is that we have a, a number of students who have been a part of the FAIR community for a long time. They have been at FAIR for nearly since like kindergarten, since second grade, as we've been a model since nearly 2000 uh, as a school that brings the arts integration and uh, um, collective kind of integration into as a school option for students throughout the city of Minneapolis and the western suburbs. We want to make sure that we're recognizing those students who have been a part of our FAIR community for an extended period of time and truly have brought immeasurable gifts to our community. So what we're going to do now is recognize those students with both the high academic honors uh, and also the students who have been a part of the FAIR community for a long time. When your name is called, what you're going to do is come up. You're going to be recognized uh, with a little uh, academic award honor from Ms. Pagel. And then we're going to ask, please don't go sit down. Don't go sit down. We want you to go pose in front of the FAIR Nation sign over there so we can get a, a full class uh, photo of the students who are academic honors recipients. Our first student who will be a recipient of the academic honors is a high honor student, Johannes Bolette. Hey, peep the shine on those shoes too, by the way. Our next student is an honor student, Sean Bowman. Gave a speech, made a song, high honor student, or honor student, Anna Carvajal Becerra. <laughs> Receiving high honors, Xavion Dillard. <laughs> An honors recipient, Griffin Dorius. High Honors Recipient, Gabriel Duenhager. <laughs> High Honors Recipient, Miguel Gomez Onofre. <laughs> High Honors Recipient, Jesus Herrera Barrios. <laughs> Honors Recipient, Nina Hughesby. Honors recipient, Alam Karama. <laughs> High honors recipient, Stephen Kaufman. <laughs> honors recipient, Naya Coker. <laughs> honors recipient, Avery Lash. Honors recipient, Olivia Miller. <laughs> Celebrating virtually, so make sure you give them a big shout out. High honor student, Khadija Noor. <laughs> honors recipient, Chance Roberts. <laughs> We're running out of stage here, but I gotta keep going. Honors recipient, Lily Rolf.
Honors recipient, Robbie Scott. <laughs> Honors recipient, Jaden Sparanzella. <laughs> High Honors recipient, Keegan Sturm. <laughs> we ran out of stage. This is an incredible testament to the work that students have put in, again, over the entirety of their high school career. Please, please, please give it up for these honors recipients right here. So as the students are getting seated, we want to be able to also recognize the students, again, who have been part of FAIR uh, for this period of time. You'll be able to hear their names and recognize more uh, in depth as we go through our presentation tonight. Uh, but there are three students we want to be able to highlight who have been a part of the FAIR community for an extended period of time. The three students are Miguel Go Gomez Onofre, who has been a part of the FAIR community for 10 years. Chance Roberts, who's been a part of the FAIR community for nine years. And finally, part of FAIR community for 10 years, Keegan Sturm. We're so appreciative of all the skills and community that you brought to our uh, FAIR community throughout the years and are very appreciative of what you brought, particularly through our high school experience. Thank you to you all. Uh, we're very excited for you as we move on to the next portion of our graduation ceremony. Thank you so much, Mr. Kane. And now we have been waiting for, uh, for this final song, which, it, which I believe Olivia said that if anybody does not have, oh, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. All right, she's coming up, she's coming up. Olivia Miller, uh, everybody. And Olivia will be um, accompanied by Mike Vasich, who is our instrumental music and electronic music teacher at FAIR. My family is literally like sitting behind you, bro. You gotta chill. Um, <laughs> but anyways, before this song starts, I think, I didn't realize how bright it was, and I'm glad I don't have my glasses on because I can't really see y'all. But anyways, I feel like we have to acknowledge, like Anna said before when she was up here on stage, the people who haven't made it this far in our journeys. Um, yeah, you know, people die, and that sucks, but I feel like it's not you know, respectful to their lives and their legacies and how they've impacted us to not have at least a small mo moment of silence for them. So if I just cool out for a little bit, we'll be, up, we'll be quiet, think about who you lost, you know, all that sad stuff. Yeah. Okay, and now we're done. That was our siren. Okay. <laughs> Slow down, you crazy child. You're so ambitious for a juvenile, but then if you're so smart. Tell me, why are you still so afraid? Mm -hmm. Where's the fire? 
what's the hurry about? You better cool it off before you run it out. You've got so much to do and only so many hours in a day. But you know that when the truth is told That you can get what you want Or you can just get old You're gonna kick off Before you even get halfway through Ooh, when will you realize Piano waits for you Slow down can't be everything you want to be before your time although it's so romantic on the borderline tonight tonight too bad but it's the life you lead you're so ahead of yourself that you forgot what you need though you can see when you're wrong you can't always see when you're right you're right You've got your passion You've got your pride But don't you know That only fools are satisfied You better Dream on But don't imagine they'll all come True When will you realize Vienna waits For you clapping for the baby, um, <laughs> but Vienna waits for you, for you, for you, 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 yeah, I don't care, congratulations. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. That was just beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, another round of applause for Olivia. And now, now, now we have finally come to the most important part of the evening. We are ready to bring it and the awarding of the diplomas. And so at this time, um, I would like to... Um, just acknowledge again that those of us who have had the pleasure of teaching and serving tonight's graduates are honored to be here today at their commencement. I keep forgetting to take this off. It's like I'm so used to having it on, I'm sorry. And we're very proud of all of you and all of our students and what you have accomplished, class of 2021. 
Superintendent Graff, I certify that these seniors have met all the requirements for graduation as specified by Minneapolis Public Schools and the state of Minnesota. <laughs> We're waiting for you. Prin <laughs> Principal Cumming, Thank you so much, uh, Board Director Cerillo. As Superintendent of Minneapolis Public Schools, it's my distinct honor and privilege to present to you the 2021 Senior Class of Fair Downtown High School. Director Cerillo. Buenas noches, good evening. Thank you, Superintendent uh, Graff. And I just want to say that I'm truly honored, inspired. Always be proud of who you are. Always believe in yourselves. And never, ever be afraid of failure. I just wanted to say that. On behalf of Minneapolis uh, Public School Board of Education, it is my sincere honor to accept the 2021 senior class of Fair High School. Yes. Principal Cummings, uh, would you please uh, complete the presentation? Thank you very much. Thank you, Director Cerullo and INS staff. Would you please prepare the stage? And Superintendent Graff and Director Cerullo and INS, could you please take your places next to the table to greet our graduates? Honor Guard, if you would please have the first row of graduates move to the back of the stage. Here comes our Honor Guard. First row of graduates, please stand. And I know we have a few staff who will be helping in the wings. Thank you very much. And I will now hand it over uh, to uh, Counselor Joe Kane. Graduates, remember, please keep your masks on as you're crossing the stage. And you may take them off for your photo in front of the step and repeat. And families, that's going to be your best time to grab that photo. All right? Here we go. I cannot wait for this moment. Let's give a little clap and cheer for them right now, huh? All right, it's happening, it's happening. So here's what we're going to do. We wanna make sure everybody gets their moment of shine tonight, all right? So I'm gonna be saying some nice things, bragging on some students right now. And then after I bragged on them for like 25 seconds, I'm just going to make sure that we, we announce their name. And that's when you go crazy. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I want to make sure you know, again, get your iPads ready, get your phones ready. This is going to be a lot of fun. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, our first graduate for the FAIR class of 2021, a student is one of the hardest working students in our entire building, not just the class of 2021. A student who is one of the low-key funniest students in the class of 2021, and is somebody who is going to be an incredible, incredible gift to the world as he next year attends Winona State University to study biochemistry. Ladies and gentlemen, our first graduate, Johannes Bellete. Johannes, you got to pose, man. All right, this next student put in their kind of remarks to teachers, what was their most proudest moment here at FAIR? And they said, making it to graduation. And I refuse to accept that. I truly believe it is so much more that you have to give to the world, the, the, the grace and courage that you approach everyone, the excitement that you have about life, and the things that you're going to do and pursue the passions that you have. Taking, uh, moving to Oregon to have a gap here and really figure out what you are going to do that's going to change the world. We cannot wait. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Bowman. Yeah. 
I only wish the student had attended our school for four years. They came in as a transfer student and it's just made an incredible impact on our school. Uh, one of the things that they're most uh, excited about and want to highlight is that they had their art hung in the district office. An incredible achievement uh, to show their artistic talents and their abilities. Uh, we are so proud of this student for being able to balance so many things, school, work, all at a high level. It's been an incredible honor student since the moment you have arrived at FAIR. We are so proud of you and can't wait to see what's next. Ladies and gentlemen, Latrice Brown. Our next student, again, give it up. We have some people who are virtually celebrating with us tonight. This student, again, is another transfer student who has really found their voice and their place here at FAIR. We are so excited for where this is going to take them. They're going to be attending Pima College in Arizona as a pre-engineering student. Uh, this student, please give a round of applause for Giselle Berg. All right, our next student uh, is somebody who just wants to highlight and was so excited, and this is what I would be highlighting too, has been accepted at University of Minnesota Morris, has talked about being the first one in their family of their siblings to go to college, has taken PSEO classes, so college student while in high school has been, been a part, an integral part of our choir, is somebody who has performed already for you tonight, brings light to this world, Anna Lucia Carbajal Becerra. I'm smiling ear to ear. This is, this is wonderful. This student has just, just proven to say that, hey, hard work truly matters. It said it's not where you start, it's where you finish. Is going to be in an automotive training program. Is going to be somebody who's going to be a CEO one day, and we can't even wait for that to happen. Just break me off with your first check a little bit, right? Thank you. Our next student is Yvonne Corral Martinez. Our next student again came to FAIR and just found a place that feels like you've been at FAIR forever. And we truly hope that, hey, you come back and work at FAIR one day. Uh, this student is, going, is an incredible artist, is somebody who's an incredible musician, has an, just an amazing perspective on the world and shares it with others and is a true gift. We are honored to be in your presence. The next graduate for FAIR, Robbie Credick. I'm just, I'm so excited right now. I got a good adrenaline going. This is great. Uh, this next student has been accepted to the University of Minnesota Twin Cities as a high honor student. Has been a PSEO student. Is somebody who is just going truly to change the world, and I don't say that lightly. Is somebody who's been studying environmental science to figure out how we can save our planet. And is going to do so both now and in the future. This student is just an incredible person as well. Xavion Dillard. This next student, we've always talked about the artwork, and you've seen some of that as well. I just, again, I, I cannot fathom this student was uh, in a company of two as a high school student running like a hundred, you know, hundreds of thousand dollar printmaking company. Uh, I just, the artwork that he creates, the leadership that he has, the potential that he displays is incredible. Uh, taking a gap here to really be able to figure out the next steps for himself, honor student Griffin Dorius. Uh, this, this, this line that this next student just had makes me smile because it encapsulates you, but then again, it doesn't tell the whole story because we know the truth. Said, hey, what are my plans? Uh, college, I guess. Okay. All right. This student is going to college, is going to thrive, is going to the University of Manitoba, is somebody who's been a, uh, a scholarship winner and art winner for their artwork that they've been able to create. High honor student, PSEO college student while in high school, Gabe Duenhiger. You did it. I'm just so proud of you. Uh, this next student has just done an incredible job of, of making it here today. Uh, is somebody who has been one of our most mature students, has an incredible outlook on life, and really, truly brings joy to the people around you. You are a gift, and we really, really value it fair. And we just wish that you, I don't know, could stay forever, right? Uh, this next student graduating is Heaven Flowers.
Don't mind me, I just gotta take a photo. <laughs> this next student is uh, pursuing passions that we truly believe that you have and you have gifts to share with the world. Is going to be a professional artist. Is somebody, hey, look them up, buy all their artwork. This is incredible, support them. Uh, has been a, a great uh, contributor to our fair school community. Has been a fierce advocate for their friends. Has been somebody who's really helped the inclusivity of our school by making sure that we're always thinking about everyone. You are, again, I just keep saying this, but this is a special class. You are a true gift. Jameson Mateo Giancola. <laughs> When I talk to prospective students and families about the FAIR school experience, I talk about this next student. I think this is the power of FAIR in a, in, a, in a story that just is incredible to me. This student took a chance on a, in, a, in a music class and said, hey, I'm going to try it. Let me see what happens. By the end of that semester, was literally performing in front of the entire school. Had self-taught themselves to piano, and it has been just an incredible encapsulation of who they are as a person. They are gifted, they are talented, and they share those gifts with the world, and we are all better for it. Attending St. Cloud State University, high honor student, uh, somebody who's just been an incredible gift again to our school community, Miguel Gomez Onofre. Hey, get your resumes ready for this next student, because again, this is another CEO candidate right here. This person is somebody who's got some real just, uh, you know, again, I know he's going to be my boss one day, and I just hope you go easy on me, right? Uh, this next student has just been an incredible addition to our fair school community. Came back from being a ninth grader, came back home. We're so glad you did. Demarcus Hawkins. Man, you brought the whole crew with you. You brought the whole crew with you. All right, this is good. All right. Our next, our next graduate is somebody who has received nearly a full-ride scholarship to Dunwoody Institute of Technology. Is somebody who has been part of our internship program, being at an architecture firm helping design the schools of tomorrow. Is somebody who's been one of our highest achieving academic students in school. And is somebody who's just, again, uh, is got incredible things ahead of them. Our next graduate, Jesus Herrera. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> oh, you. I got to highlight this next student because this is one of the coolest experiences of my entire time at FAIR so far. When the musical Hamilton came to school, uh, we had the opportunity to bring basically our whole school over, but only half the staff, and I'm not bitter that I didn't get to go. Um, <laughs> But we had our students actually perform on stage with some of the actors in the matinee performance. One of those students is the graduate before you right here. Has been nearly a full-time college student since entering into their junior year. Let me again put that in perspective. Has been a nearly full-time college student since the start of their junior year. That's incredible. This next student right here, the next graduate, Amari Hughes. Honor Guard, can we please have our second and third row stand? Second and third row stand, please. It's time. Here we go. Okay, our next student, we're getting them up to the front of the line here again. It's been a, a new addition to FAIR in the last couple of years, and we're so glad that you found FAIR and made it your home. 
Uh, you have been an incredible artist. You're somebody who is uh, truly gifted in the, the areas that you've really chosen as your passions. Uh, make sure you peep the nail game uh, because you're going to be studying at the Nail Institute of Technology, our next graduate, Nina Hughesby. One of the challenges of distance learning for us this year is if we have new students, we haven't really been able to meet them. I only wish we had been able to meet you more and got to know you in person because you are a true gift and true light to this world. Our next graduate is somebody who's going to make an uh, incredible impact in everything that he does. Our next graduate, Angel Jimenez. Uh-oh. I don't want to tear up here. I'm pretty excited. Uh, this next student, again, has been nearly a full-time college student since they were a junior in high school. Uh, there's somebody who has been part of an internship program that's very prestigious. They're an incredibly deep thinker. They are somebody who really cares about this world and is going to truly make their mark on the world. Our next graduate, Alam Karama. Our next graduate has been a member of the University of Minnesota's PSEO college program. That's one of the most difficult things that you can do as a high school student. Uh, that's only about half the students who apply for that program get into it, and it's very, very academically rigorous. This student has been nearly a full-time uh, PSEO student since, again, uh, their junior year, taking classes in physics, chemistry, taking classes in advanced work, and math. They've been also an integral member of our music program, really growing it into the music program that is today. There's a lot of people that see upon your shoulders because you've lifted them up. Our next graduate, we're so proud of you, Stephen Kaufman. This next student is somebody who truly makes a mark on you. You, you are better off for knowing this person in your life. Uh, and that is a, a real gift uh, to know that about this person. They've been a college student. They've been somebody who's been able to, honestly, and this is what's crazy to me, uh, they've been working like 40 hours a week, a full, full, nearly a full-time college student, and even taking classes here at FAIR to extend their learning. Uh, it's taking a gap year, near, gap year next year, but is somebody who's going to go way far in the future, Naya Coker. This next student is somebody who I want to point out. Again, there's scholarships and then there's scholarships. Uh, there's the scholarships you get one time and you're like, hey, woo, woo, this sounds great. There's the ones that are renewable that says uh, colleges and institutions say, hey, we really recognize and value who you are and we want you to be our part of our community forever and for the long haul. This person has been just uh, somebody who has truly made their mark again on FAIR. Is somebody who we will miss deeply here at FAIR next year. Uh, but that again, as Miss Duffy said, we can't wait to go see what you do in the world. Congratulations to this graduate, Avery Lash. I'm just so proud of this next graduate. I really am. This person has been everything to everyone uh, for so long and gives of herself always and, and gives everything that she's got. You've been a true gift to not only our fair school community, not just the senior class, but our entire school. You've made it a better place. And that is a true gift of somebody to leave someplace better than they found it. They've been a better gift to our school, or our entire Minneapolis community as well, serving on the citywide, citywide Youth Council. As somebody who's been uh, an incredible uh, college student, has performed in musicals, has been part of plays, has been a part, look, of everything. All right? This person is just is truly embodies what fair wants our students to be. Congratulations to this graduate, Olivia Miller. Hey, hey kiddo, you did it. You did it. You've made it to this point, and we know how hard you've worked to get here. This is truly something that you've earned. We are so proud of you. This next graduate, I, I'm, I just can't keep talking because I'm going to lose, I'm gonna, I might cry. I'm so proud of you. Sydney Mitchell.
Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Look, we've all been in quarantine, right? This is our moment to shine. This is amazing. All right. This next student is probably going to be designing the video games that your kids' kids are going to play, and they're going to be up to like 3 o'clock in the morning doing that because he's also done that many a time and come into school and said, I'm very tired. I wonder why. He is somebody who is truly gifted uh, in the engineering and math and science world. Is somebody who's going to make, again, a great mark in the career field that you go into. Our next graduate, Alex Moreland. Our next graduate, again, is going to be celebrating virtual. This is somebody who is an incredible, incredible artist, has multiple art pieces in and around FAIR and also in the broader community. Is somebody who's really been a voice for uh, equity and justice in the world. Uh, somebody who's truly striving to make the world a better place uh, for her community and the entire community. Uh, please celebrate this graduate virtually, uh, Khadija Noor. Hey, here's that, here's that theme again. Hire this person to do artwork for you. This person is an incredible artist, has been in part of our skateboard art program, has found their passion in photography, uh, and has maybe the sickest outfit of anybody walking across the stage tonight. Uh, we want to celebrate this graduate, Maje Northup. Uh, <laughs> was I wrong? Was I wrong? All right. This next person is a walking music encyclopedia. This is somebody who knows, lives, and breathes music, and they are somebody who really has made a deep impact on not only the students of FAIR, but also the larger community and the staff of FAIR. You're somebody who has, has really, truly uh, probed us with deeper questions, made us to think about equity and justice in the world, was one of our student leaders when we talked about what does it mean to really be a school community that is inclusive in the wake of everything in the last year and help lead that school-wide conversation. We truly value and appreciate for everything that you are and everything that you do. Please give it up for Kieran Pritchard. All right, the shine for this is this student is going to be so bright he decided to wear sunglasses tonight. All right, this student is somebody who is of many varied interests and pursues them vigorously. Is somebody who has pursued different college classes. Is somebody who has pursued uh, incredible multimedia projects outside of school. Is a gifted artist. Is somebody who is going to make their world or, or mark in the world in, in many variety of fields. And we're excited to see what that leads you to. Please celebrate this next graduate, Isacio Reyes Laedra. Float like a butterfly, sing like a bee over there. Man, this is great. This next student has uh, done what's nearly impossible to do unless you set out and really, truly set your course and your aim on this. You have to have the highest academic uh, ability and discipline to achieve what you've done as a student. Uh, you're going to be nearly finishing high school with a diploma in one hand and a college degree in the other. Again, the promise and the ability of FAIR realized. Uh, you are somebody who again, has pushed our school to be a more inclusive environment, and we are better for it. Please celebrate this next graduate, Chance Roberts. <laughs> this next student has been one of uh, the members of the most prestigious internship program you can be as a high school student in the entire Twin Cities metro. They work in incredible Fortune 500 companies, doing real work, leading real teams of adults as high school seniors, and earning over $15,000 over the course of their senior year. 
That is no accident from this student because you have truly earned everything you've ever done. You are incredibly hardworking, diligent, kind. The list goes on and on. And we cannot wait to see what you do as you study at Augsburg University next year. Please give it up for Lily Rolf. All right, we're on the home stretch, people, and I'm still excited about every single one of these graduates. This next student right here, you already know. You already know. You came to FAIR, and I can see your sister up in the balcony right now. We're also excited about We remember these moments where you said, I really need to make sure I can get to this moment for myself. And you put in the work, and you did it. We are so proud of you for that, knowing all the work that you put inside and outside of the classroom. You deserve this moment. Please, please, everyone in this audience, give it up for Lisbeth Ruiz. I want to acknowledge this next student uh, because I think the mentality that you've really displayed in this senior year has impressed me beyond measure. You're somebody who has said, hey, it's very easy to be discouraged uh, in distance learning, to not feel like, you know, all of school is worth my effort because there's so much going on in the world. Uh, and this is a hard environment. Look, 25% of this senior year's class uh, of, their, of their high school career has been spent behind a computer screen. I don't take that for granted, the work that you put in in this senior year, and particularly in your last two years. You've been a straight-A student. You've been somebody who's worked constantly outside of the school year. You're somebody who truly has goals for yourself. And again, please, just, just like 0.1% of the millions you're going to make, can you just break us off with that fair? We value you. We appreciate all the hard work you've done. Our next graduate, Robbie Scott. She's already like, don't do it. Don't do it, Kane. Don't do it, Kane. I'm going to ruffle some feathers here. We had our senior celebration on Friday after we had our practice ceremony, and we had a true versus battle. We had a true versus battle of students versus students saying who could throw down the best music and really keep the party going. Uh, and, and Kieran would like to think that he won. But this student, who has been a, tr a true blessing, has said, and I truly believe, and you've lived this in every moment of time, that you care about people. You are always checking in about people, and that is one of the best qualities that you have in life. Please don't lose that. The winner of the versus battle, Talia Smith-Jones. Sorry, Karen. Sorry, Olivia. <laughs> this next student, this next student, something clicked in sophomore year, and we talked about this moment, how you said, I really, really wanted to go after and get it for myself. And you've done that in every single moment in the last three years. You were somebody who has been a leader. And I want to highlight again his work leading our underclass students as a respect retreat leader, where you've been able to step up and step into leadership roles, where you do not leave anyone behind. That's going to serve you well in your next uh, ventures as you become a member of the U.S. Coast Guard and the U.S. Coast Guard Academy. We are so proud of you, and I can't wait to see what's about to happen. Our next graduate, Jaden Speranzella. <laughs> Don't say he didn't have a little flair, huh? This next student uh, is somebody who you've already heard from tonight, and you've heard the growth that they've had as a person. That's by no accident. You are somebody who's really become a true, true leader in everything that you do. Is somebody who really influences others by not only your words, but your actions. You're a servant leader. That's a gift. We can't not wait for you to uh, attend Minneapolis College. You're going to be a graphic design major. And again, hire this man, everyone. I don't know what to tell you. This class is so talented. We are so proud of you. Our next graduate, Keegan Sturm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, some might say we saved the best for last right now. I know I did, right? There it is. There it is. This, this person 
has, has truly become what we've all seen in you. We saw this from the moment you walked in from fair, and I'm sure there was a lot of those, you're a leader, you're a leader talks, and you've grown into it, and you really are. You're somebody who really cares deeply about people. You're empathetic. You're somebody who has great, great attributes that are going to make you successful in human services in the fields that you want to go into. You're somebody who is honestly an inspiration to us as staff, and I don't say that lightly. You mean the world to us. You are going to make, you mean the world to everyone else, and you're going to make an impact on that world. Ladies and gentlemen, our last and final graduate of the class of 2021, make some noise for Lachey Walton. <laughs> nah, 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 y'all can do better than that. For the class of 2021, make some noise right now, huh? And thank you, you can be seated on stage. We have one final thing left to do this evening, which is to certify this class. And before we do that, I want to wait, make sure that Lachey gets back to her seat so that she too can participate in our tassel ceremony. And she is on her way. We think she's on her way back down to her seat. Excellent. I want to thank Mr. Kane as well for his um, incredible knowledge of every single student in the class. This is not uh, not at all uncommon, uh, not at all uncommon, and and will I am quite certain continue. So, our last task of the evening. And I want to remind families um, that the graduates will be recessing first. So please stay in your seats until all graduates have left the auditorium. In addition, I know that the outside doors will be open to exit um, out per COVID protocols rather than gathering in this atrium and entryway space um, in close quarters. So please know that you'll be able to meet your graduate um, outside as well. So, at this time, class of 2021, please stand up. All right. And please, at this time, move your tassel from the right side of your cap to your left. Family members, friends, staff, I present to you the 2021 graduating class of the Fair High School. Congratulations, graduates. You can go.